So guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome, uh, welcome back to um, another episode of Andy's Unplugged. Welcome back to another episode of Unplugged EV Australia. And I, I just came back from this awesome trip, 109 kilometers, and I would like to measure the battery now. What's actually going on while the car is parked? I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so somehow I would like to measure the um, amperes which are going in or out on the battery here. Um, yeah, but it's a little bit hard to do with these ones here and how to connect them to the battery. So I need to figure something out. Battery terminals. <laughs> yeah, now we are talking. 20 amps. 20 amps. Uh, yeah. ah. Unfused 20 amps. But before we do all this, we need to play with the dogs. Okay, let's go. So that's enough for now. Oh. And his garage. So the main problem will be, so the main problem will be to, I, I, I don't want to lose all my settings on my, in my car, so I can't disconnect the battery just like this. I would need to connect the ampere meter first and then disconnect the, the cable from the battery terminal. Uh, yeah, something like this. Okay, so this will be the easy part, connecting this one and now going to lose okay so so now taking this one off without losing contact with the battery while putting this one on at the same time <laughs> that'll be a challenge okay got it got it got it I hope this fits here. I hope it fits. I hope it just fits. So this should be... No, it's too tight. Fuck. This clamp is too tight. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, go back to the original one. Some sparks. Here we go. It's back on, it's back on, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, I need to find another one of these. All right, I've got another solution. Um, so we have to use this terminal here and put this one on. All right, all right. Let's try this again. Let's take this one off first without losing contact. I'm sliding around the terminal of the battery I'm sliding around all the way down so I can connect this one at the same time. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. 
this one is off and this one is on that's a winner I don't think I need to tighten it all right so we just need to make sure they are not coming in contact here otherwise my that's what the plastic cover is for actually <laughs> okay let's turn on the ampere meter and see what's happening there's nothing happening So now it gets interesting. This shows me it's 14 milliamps, which is going out of the battery. So the minus says the battery is supplying power to the car. 14 milliamps. And I thought, oh, this might be just not right. Yeah. But um, when I actually put these cables together again, so I'm bypassing the ampere meter, it's really on zero. See when I open when I open the circuit here and it goes through the ampere meter, we've got 13 milliamps at the moment. 13 milliamps out of the battery, out of the battery through the ampere meter into the car. So that's the real figure at the moment. This is the standby, the standby power of the car which is quite nothing. Okay, I'm going to open the door now and see what the amps are doing then. When just the light turns on, you know? There you go. This is just the internal light. So you've got a light in the back, one in the middle, one, two at the front. And we have a supply of three amps, 2.9 amps now, just for the internal light. Okay. Yeah, this will stay a while until the light turns off again and let's do another test and um, switch on the parking lights of the car okay it will beep now hang on I'll close the door so including the parking lights which are quite nice oh we've got only 3.5 amps ah yeah now why because i have I have LED parking light at the front which don't use anything and I'm not sure if this is LED as well maybe LED backlights could be that would explain why the energy consumption is so low at the moment interesting stuff and even if I turn off the ampere meter the energy is still flowing so I can leave the ampere meter off and turn it on from time to time and see what the battery is actually doing. If there's any energy going in or out. I, I am probably won't turn on the car because I'm expecting a fairly high current into the battery once you turn it on. Um, but I'm not sure about this, how much energy will flow in. It says, yeah, there it says un, unfused, the 20 amps. I'm not sure what happens. I'm not sure what happens when I turn on the car. I might be... What happens if we have 30 or 40 amps? It shouldn't harm my ampere meter, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so, moment of truth. Is this recording? Yes, moment of truth. I've got the charge already. I haven't plugged it in yet. Um, I probably hold them back together again. So the it's bypassing the ampere meter. I don't want to destroy my ampere meter. It's the only one I have. So everything is back to um, zero. And I'm plugging in the car now and see what's um, hopefully not happening. I should set up cameras actually if, in case of we have a fire or so. Okay. Yeah, EVSE is on. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay, we are plugged in. We are plugged in. And we have. Okay, we are off. So we've got plus 8 amps into the battery while charging at the moment. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Hang on. Just put this plastic in between. So, and of course the current goes down because the battery should be almost full from this drive this morning. Okay, I'll... Um, yeah, see that's the problem now. I haven't got a data logger. It would be nice to have a laptop next to each other now and connect the ampere meter to the laptop and um, actually see over time what's going on. That would be awesome. That would be really awesome, but I don't have a data logger ampere meter. And they are quite expensive. They are around 
200 dollars what i've looked up on ebay just like like a, one of these like a normal ampere meter with a usb connection and then a software running on laptop so we can lock what's going on i probably have to invest in this so and after a little bit over half an hour of charging from the external charger the power to the battery or the the current to the battery went down to 0 0.2 so 240 millivolts uh, milliamps so the <laughs> the current to the battery went down to 240 milliamps yep so this works just fine if i shorten this one here it goes down to zero so that's perfect then it goes up again <coughs> Very safe. That's good. Now that's good. So I'm, yeah, I, I cannot fully charge the car yet um, because I haven't got time. I need to leave in an hour um, to visit my other customer. I will do a full charge overnight and then do a test drive tomorrow morning for a couple of kilometers, then come back and leave the car here. And then I will measure the amps going in and out of the battery. That will be very interesting because I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what the results will be. <laughs> Is it really charging? I mean, we have seen before it used 14 milliamps to supply the car standby power, which is not very much. So the battery should last a long, long, long time on the standby. And when I turned on the interior light, the, the current went up to almost uh, 3 amps out of the battery. So that was quite interesting to see. Um, guys, interesting days ahead of us. <laughs> so, and one hour after plugging in the car, the 12 volt battery doesn't take more than um, 74 milliamps. So it looks like the battery is full doesn't doesn't take any more power I've just seen actually that this device has a connector for an external whatever computer maybe I need to find this cable there are five pins um, okay I don't know if they have this cable actually I hope I find it somewhere because this would be awesome. I could actually measure, I could actually lock all the data on a computer, on a laptop. And then we could have, could see what's actually going on while the car is parked. Need to find this cable. Okay guys, I need to find this cable now. I haven't got time anymore to make videos. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia. Signing off very quickly. Stay charged. Oh, before I go, actually I just opened the door and the light turned on again and there is no no power coming from the battery the battery still gets charged so all this power for the internal light it all comes from the external charger as expected